Welcome to the Book Party Podcast. Join us as we journey into the world of books with Michael T. Prepare to be captivated by engaging interviews, insightful discussions, and fascinating stories. You'll discover new adventures and gain insight into the creative process of the authors themselves as they share their struggles and accomplishments. Now let's hear from Michael T. Michael, Michael T. Yes, so my name is Bridget Messy, and I am the author of the book Red Siren. I have been writing since I was a little girl, and I realized I had a knack for it, and I just absolutely loved writing. I found myself writing in between doing homework instead of paying attention in class in high school, and when I got to college, I you know, I was I was going to be a, a teacher, an elementary school teacher, and I ended up deciding I wanted to be an author because that's where my passion lied. That's what I was doing in all my free time. So thank you so much for having me on. On your publishing journey, did you take the self-publishing route or did you find an agent and take the traditional agency route? It's a little bit confusing because I'm not with a big publisher, but I'm not, I, I'm more of an indie author than a self-published or a, with a big publishing house. With um, my publisher, it's Christian Faith Publishing. I actually knew an author a few years ago who was publishing with them and we got to talking and she said, you know, I would love to recommend you to my agent. So I went ahead and allowed her to do that. I got in contact. They went and said, hey, if you want, go ahead and send your manuscript over. We'll take a look at it and we will, you know, let you know if we're interested. A few weeks later goes by and they called and let me know that they were interested and they were very excited to publish it. So I write my book, but they kind of take over all the editing and they tell me what needs to be added. They put everything together. I just kind of provide the word. So Bridget, take us on what you would consider your worst author moment when you wrote this book and tell us a bit of a story about that. So, so my worst author moment probably wouldn't be when I was writing the book, but definitely after it was published. So I wanted to get in touch with a local library here in town, and I wanted to provide a course for young authors or young adults who might be interested in eventually being an author or writing books or who love to read, because I, I realized as a young reader, even if I didn't want to be published, I loved writing. So I contacted a library here in town thinking, you know, it would be fun to collaborate with them. I got into a call with them and it was it was kind of a please me crowd. They they wanted me to, I guess, impress them, tell me it wasn't affected in the mannerism of, you know, we're helping each other out. I'm a local author. It wasn't, it wasn't a positive experience. And they, they definitely threw out some judgment during that interview. And they basically told me I'm not ready to work with them. And it, it, it just was completely left of what I had expected from a local um, a local library. Well, the next question I have for you is what I call the epiphany moment or the, oh, wow moment or the light bulb in the head moment. You could have been doing absolutely anything except for the actual writing. You could have been driving, cooking, taking a shower, whatever the case may have been. And all of a sudden, a light bulb went off in your head and, and, you thought of something that had to be in there. Get a piece of paper, a pen right now. I've got to write this down. 
I can't wait. I got to write it down right now. Did you have a moment like that? I did actually. And that moment actually made it into my book. If you open up my book, it's actually the very first chapter. But how that kind of came about was I was scrolling Pinterest and I came across this artwork of Ariel with a knife in her hand. And she had the two eels from the movie, you know, circling her. And in this image, I was shown that, you know, she had a fire inside of her. She had choices. She could fight back. She had a really strong instinct. And I wanted to know that Ariel. I wanted to know the Ariel who kind of took control of her destiny instead of, you know, wanting just to be a human for love, you know, who who was this girl, who was the siren, and maybe she she didn't want to be a human, but she didn't want to kill them. And I just wanted to meet this character and um I I think I I think she's one of my favorite people to write because she's so strong willed and loyal and doesn't let anybody tell her what she can and can't do. Well, let's turn this to today. What is the one thing that you're the most fired up about or the most excited about right now today? I think I am so excited about my short stories. So I am currently drafting. If you go onto my blog at BridgetMessy.net, you will see that I published free short stories, fantasy short stories for all my readers to read while I work on book two. And I'm currently drafting a short story and it might actually end up being a novel depending on if it gets picked up, if there's demand for it, all of that, all of that. But that's pretty much what I'm super excited for today. I, I just got a whiteboard so I can map it all out and I get to draft it today and really just outline it, find out what makes it tick, find out who the characters are. I really like to dive in and really discover a new story. And to me, that's that's super exciting. This is Michael T. Thank you for being with us this morning. We invite you to go to bookpartypodcast.com. That's bookpartypodcast.com. Hit that subscribe tab on top. Scroll down to the icon of your choice, such as Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, or Odyssey, where you can find us on your favorite platform. You can download and follow us there. Please leave a review. And don't forget to sign up for our video newsletter and get the latest information on our upcoming shows. Okay, Bridget, we're entering the lightning round. And in the lightning round, we have four pointed questions for four pointed answers. So before you had become an author, what was holding you back from becoming an author in the first place? Fear of rejection. Rejection? Fear of rejection? Yes. Did you hear that? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) What? was the best advice now this is as you're writing what was the best advice you had ever received right like no one's gonna read it okay share one of your personal habits that contributes to your success probably discipline sitting down every day and doing something regarding writing whether it's marketing podcast outlining something just discipline and acting like this is the actual job okay could you share with our listeners one internet resource that you use when you're writing com because i as an author, I need names, and I will log on to that and scroll the most popular names of, you know, 1920 or something. So that's probably the one I use the most, that and Google. 
Okay, Bridget, we're going to enter into the grand finale now. And what I'd like you to do in the grand finale is just take your time and tell our listeners all about your book. Yes. So Red Siren is a loose retelling kind of of The Little Mermaid. And I absolutely love it because it shows a different side of mermaids, I think, than what we've previously seen. Instead of being fearful of showing, you know, sirens eating and killing people, I kind of embrace it and I make it my story. I love the adventure that happens because, you know, she goes to a whole new world, a whole new you know, she lives in the ocean and has to go to the human world and pretend to be a human. And with that, she encounters a lot of different things, you know, eating different food, all the different all the different places she can go, walking, just people in general, you know, hotels, um, bathrooms. She encounters all the things that, you know, you w- wouldn't as a siren. And she has to kind of grow up in a way of, well, I got myself into this mess. How do I get myself out of it? How do I make the best of it? Because, you know, this was, this is her life. She wished for, to not have to kill humans. And this was the repercussion of it, becoming a human. But how can, you know, how can she make that the best, the best that it can be? And then, obviously, she encounters different emotions that you do as a siren. You know, she falls in love. She gets jealous. She, it's not all, it's not, it's not black and white for her up here as it is in the sea. And, you know, what she knew in the sea was her family and her role that she would sing this song of the sirens. And then after that, you know, she becomes this bloodthirsty monster what happens if she doesn't, you know, what, what, what does she do after that, you know, because that's all she really knew, is she becomes this demon of the sea, and that's her role, so what is her role as a human, and what does she want in life, and that's, that's where that goes. I really enjoyed writing this, and I really hope readers enjoy reading it. I find it, um, just so much fun to go back and read it and I love the environment the themes that the the magic honestly I got to have a lot of fun researching not just mermaids but a lot of lore of were there mermaids in rivers in lakes you know what other kind of magical creatures are there that people might not know of and i got to play around with those ideas a lot as well and there you have it fellow adventurers we hope you enjoyed this enchanting episode featuring the incredible bridget messy and her enthralling book red siren remember the fantasy world is boundless and there's always more magic to discover if you're craving more fantastical tales Check out Bridget's blog, which shares her upcoming second book in the series, The Adventure is Far From Over. Thank you for joining us, Enchanted Pages. If you enjoyed this episode, remember to subscribe, leave a review, and share the magic with your fellow dreamers. Until next time, may your days be filled with wonder and your nights with enchantment. Again, this is Michael T., and I thank you for being with us this morning. To all our listeners, I would invite you to go to bookpartypodcast.com, hit that subscribe tab on top, then scroll down to the icon of your choice where you can find us on one of your favorite platforms such as Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, or Odyssey where you can download and follow us there. And don't forget to leave us a review. Sign up for our video newsletter to get the latest information on our upcoming shows. 
Book Party Podcast is owned and powered by MTM Legacy Publishing, LLC. This is Michael T. signing off. You must not miss our next episode as we delve into a world of inspiration, entertainment, and thought-provoking insights. Join Michael T. on the next Book Party Podcast and experience a new adventure, a new story, and a complete immersion into the world of Pages Unveiled, Chronicles of the Writing Journey.